thought I'd do a video on backbiting Denlingerites, showing how the Denlingerites, such as the Pope Brian Denlinger and his cultic yes men like Alexander Hartley, a sodomite, uh, Aaron Deering, JT Does, and others, showing how they are just a bunch of backbiting Denlingerite devils. Some scripture, real quick. Proverbs 25, 23. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. The definition of a backbiter is one who slanders or speaks will of the absent. And that definitely goes on in the Brian Dellinger cult. And because Brian is not disciplined, he is surrounded by these cultic yes men who will just amen everything he says and won't question anything he says. Uh, all kinds of backbiting goes on against those who disagree with the Pope. So I've got some, just some notes written down. First of all, Brian's rebuke of Jeremy Carter was not a biblical public rebuke. It was backbiting. Because again, what is backbiting? It's one who slanders or speaks will of the absent. He publicly rebuked Jeremy, but didn't give Jeremy a chance to defend himself. Read Matthew 18. That's not a biblical public rebuke. The person is brought before the congregation and he has to be able to defend himself against any false accusations. Brian Dillinger and his cultic yesman, JT Does, were backbiting. And, you know, Tim was part of the rebuke, but, you know, Tim has now, Brother Tim has now seen the Brian Dillinger cult for what they are a bunch of two faced, backstabbing, backbiting hypocrites and yesmen to Brian Dillinger. Next point, Tim, or not sorry, sorry, Brian attacked Tim and Jake Mays after they thought they had come to an agreement. Their video, or sorry, Brian's video uh, called The Conspiracy, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, he was just attacking Tim and Jake Mays for calling out the prideful arrogance in Brian's sermon called Why Losers Play Video Games. And of course, in the comments of that sermon, you got the sodomite Alexander Hartley the wicked devil that he is, just amening Brian Denlinger and saying, oh, they just love their sin, you know. Uh, that's a common lie from these wicked Denlingerites like Alexander Sodomite Hartley. Alexander Hartley is a wicked devil. Um, I, I, don't, I don't believe the guy is saved. He's just a very nasty, bitter old man. But, you know, I'm going to get to him later on. But he was, or sorry, Brian, not Alexander Hartley. You know, but Alexander Hartley, again, just a wicked, bitter Denlingerite. Uh, Brian was attacking Tim and Jake Mays without having them be able to defend themselves. Again, backbiting, even after they thought they'd come to an agreement. And you got the Diotrephes Dunlingerite devil, Aaron Deering, attacks Tim and publicly rebukes Tim, you know, back in May, before Aaron Deering was going to step down from ministry because he was proved that he's no longer qualified. He never was qualified. In fact, he was never saved. Um, he's lost. But... I did a video on just the double-mindedness and hypocrisy of Aaron Deering. Uh, two different times he says he's not qualified for ministry anymore. He steps down. A month later, he comes back. A month or so later, comes back claiming to be in full-time ministry. When in reality, that immature little prideful kid has no business being teaching the Word of God because he's not saved, first of all. And second of all, if he is saved, he's got some very, very big pride issues. But I could go off about that. But he attacks Tim in another video called uh, Judas Iscariot. And just like his sodomite friend, the Denlingerite devil, Alexander Hartley, he labels Tim as lost because Tim had the guts to speak against the Pope, Brian Denlinger. It is amazing how much these, how Catholic these guys behave, uh, which is why I call it a Catholic cult. But here's a clip of the Denlingerite Diotrephes devil, Aaron Deering, attacking Brother Tim. It's so that someone goes in, sees a comment, sees a filthy channel, and then will go to the likes of that rotten devil Tim from AVBTM Evangelist videos. Go to the likes of that rotten devil Tim from AVBTM Evangelist videos. Go to the likes of that rotten devil Tim from AVBTM Evangelist videos. Go to the likes of that rotten devil Tim from AVBTM Evangelist videos. Go to the likes of that rotten devil Tim from AVBTM Evangelist videos. So they'll go to the likes of that devil Frank from King's Table or that devil Edward Fenninger. I mean, it just shows how wicked this this uh diatrophy is, little devil Aaron Darien is. Um, he's lost. I have, I have no doubts the guy's lost. 
Uh, he's a wicked uh, Judas, a wicked Diotrephes, and an accuser of the brethren, just like his father Satan. So that just that's that. But he just for no reason attacks Brother Tim. So Aaron Deering, may the Lord rebuke you, and may the Lord close your lying mouth if you don't repent. Then you got JT Does, another cultic yes man to Brian Dillinger, and another Dillingerite devil who is just filled with pride and just an immature little child who has no business being in ministry. It, it's just funny, where are all these young these young little kids coming from? I mean I'm I'm you know I'm you know a young adult, but I don't claim to be in ministry, I don't claim to be a preacher. Uh, these guys actually claim to be preachers. So before you say, oh, you're a hypocrite because you make videos. Yeah, I make videos, but I don't, I'm not in ministry. I don't claim to be a preacher. I don't claim to be in ministry. I just make short videos. These immature children like JT does and Aaron Deering actually claim they're in ministry. And I'm just saying it's weird how all these, these young little kids come from, uh, where, where all these young little kids come who just think they're qualified to teach the word of God and call everyone lost really weird. Uh, JT Does is another immature uh, child, uh, prideful, arrogant, puffed up child who is a novice and as a result of being a novice he's uh, basically led by pride. Obviously what does the scripture say? He's lifted up by pride. He's a novice. But he is just going along with Brian's backbiting, you know, attacking Tim because JT Does tried to get into an interracial marriage and it was a sin, and Brian was covering up the sin, and JT does just didn't want to admit he was in sin, because interracial quote-unquote marriage is a wicked, vile sin, and JT does knew better, and he was just, you know, trying, Brian was just covering it up, and that's based on what I know, based on what I've heard, but JT does, you know, prideful, immature, arrogant, nasty, sarcastic, uh, just bitter, nasty, just bitter, nasty little kid. Uh, that kid has no business being in ministry, not qualified, not qualified to teach at all. Just a nasty little brat and a um, immature, unqualified, prideful child. Then, of course, finally, last but not least, you got Aaron during sodomite buddy Alexander Hartley, backbiting Tim and calling Tim loss for simply disagreeing with Brian. Uh, Alexander Hartley, as I said before, I, I have no doubts that bitter old man is lost. Uh, he needs to get saved, and he's just a Judas. He is an accuser of the brethren, uh, just like Aaron Deering. Both of them are devils and accusers of the brethren. And uh, Alexander Hartley is just, you know, prideful. He thinks he's, he's, he's a supposed elder. He doesn't have to take correction from someone who's younger. And Aaron Deering just bolsters up what he says, and, you know, just totally wicked. Uh, what, what this Denlingerite cult doesn't understand is that your age does not mean anything. Wait, if you're wrong with the scriptures, your age does not shield you from being rebuked. That's just how it goes. Because Denlinger loves throwing out his age. Oh, I'm a preacher. Don't, don't you know, rebuke me. You know, here's a clip of him doing that. Right. And I got to say something else here before you get back to the video. I never, as a teenager, would have thought about talking this way about a preacher. You know? I mean, it just, it's its weird that they come out that he has such authority that he can put down a guy that's 43 years old. He has to dial back the inner person because he can't uh, be honest about what he really feels and what he'd really like to say about me, a preacher. Basically, what these, these cultic fools don't realize is that your age, if you're wrong with the scriptures and you're in sin, your age does not shield you from being rebuked. Your age doesn't mean squat if you're wrong with the scriptures. Uh, Alexander Hartley was lying about Tim and I rebuked Alexander Hartley for doing so and Aaron Deering got all triggered because I, I rebuked one of his sodomite buddies and he got all offended because you don't don't talk that way about an elder hey if he's wrong with the scriptures he's not above the scriptures regardless of his age it doesn't, doesn't matter how old he is he's not above the scriptures and the, and the verse they love ripping out of context is and, it, and they won't even read the full teaching they just rip this one verse out of context and it's funny because they do the exact same things that the independent fundamental Baptists do. This thing of don't speak against the man of God, don't speak against the preacher. You know, Brian is, is no different than the independent Baptist. But here's the scripture they love just totally twisting is 1 Timothy 5.1. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father and the younger men as brethren. Now you got a problem here because first of all, Alexander Hartley is not an elder. And if he is an elder, if he was an elder, basically... He's not behaving like one and doesn't, does, does, 
does not deserve to be called an elder. Even if he is an elder, he definitely does not deserve to be called one due to his child, Im, childish, immature behavior. But here's the scripture they won't read, a couple verses down. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 19 to 20. Against an elder, receive not an accusation. But no, see, we can't receive an accusation against the elder. Keep reading. But before two or three witnesses, them that sin rebuke before all that others may fear. If the elder is in sin, you can rebuke him before all if you have at least two or three witnesses. And I had witnesses to Alexander Hartley's lying and slandering of Tim. So I had every right to rebuke him, regardless of how old he is, or regardless if he's an elder or not. See, this is the scripture they don't want to read, because it means they can't have that cultic control over their followers. And then you got Aaron Deering, who fancies himself as an elder, when the guy is only a couple years older than I am. He's not an elder, and he's not in ministry. So basically, the bottom line is, is that these uh, Dillingerite children, they are spiritual children, um, they're backbiters, they're hypocrites, and Mark and avoid this cult. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.